author Rita Mae Brown and her feline partner in crime detection, Sneaky Pie Brown, return with their latest Mrs. Murphy mystery, Sourpuss. This best-selling crime series delivers suspense and down-home charm in spades. Hi, Rita Mae. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you. You famously co-author the Mrs. Murphy mystery series with a cat. In fact, you say that Sneaky Pie is more than a collaborator. It was actually her idea. How does this famous cat contribute to the writing process? Well, pretty much she brings me a string of mangled corpses, which inflame my imagination as well as her own. Does she type on the keyboard as well? Yeah, actually she does. It's funny. <laughs> and while we're at it, are there any similarities between Sneaky Pie and Mrs. Murphy? They're both tiger cats. But I have to tell you that this has gone to Sneaky Pie's head, particularly in Sourpuss. You'll see she keeps making Mrs. Murphy slimmer and younger, and she herself is getting a little portly. There are some similarities, but I would have to say that Sneaky Pie's idealizing herself. Your passion for animals and your respect for humans really shines through in your work. Not only the humans, but all of the animals in the book have very distinctive personalities. How did you decide on these? I don't decide on anything. They're just there. They're all around me. I write what I see. Those are the personalities of that particular kind of species. But as for respect for life, I, I do. I don't think you can grow old and not respect life. Is it harder to write from the human perspective or the animal perspective? In some ways, it's harder for me to write from the human perspective because I grew up with animals. Mm -hmm. I slept with foxhounds in my crib. I can communicate more readily with animals. What's hard about writing about the animals is trying to render their consciousness into the English language. We have so many screens between us and reality. Language being a tremendous tool, but also a screen. And you have to pierce that screen. Your mysteries are set in a cozy southern hamlet of Virginia where you just happen to live. What do you find this backdrop does for your stories? All Americans understand the South as a literary vehicle mm -hmm. because so much of our literature has come from the South. It gives me the freedom not to have to create my environment, if you will. So it allows me to just get right into the story, to get right into the people and the animals. This is your 14th book in the Mrs. Murphy series. How do you keep such a long-running series, both grounded and innovative? At this point, are the characters driving the stories, or are you? I've never driven a story in my life. At some point, the characters just take over. I can't wait to do the next novel. And I hope I live to be 100, because I want to write a really good novel when I'm 100, just to prove someone can do it. Aeschylus wrote a great play when he was 96. If Aeschylus can do it, I can do it. Delve into thrills, charms, plot twists, humor, and a unique animal perspective on human crime in the Mrs. Murphy mystery series. Pick up your copy of Sourpuss, new in hardcover. And don't forget to get Cat's Eyewitness, new in paperback. If I could make an appeal, to anyone watching us today. If you would just go to your animal shelter, bring somebody home, if you can. If you can't, give them $10, because you have blown $10 on things not nearly as good as helping out some little critter whose only fault was they were born in the wrong place or to the wrong person. You know what, too? It's the only love money can buy. 